What is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy JPN88 here and I'm coming at y'all with part 2 of a channel update. As I was originally going to do this on the 12th similar to the last month, but decided instead to do it midway through the month. This second part might be shorter than the first one as I just want to give a short update of some of the things I mentioned from part 1. So let's get into it. So you might have noticed what this small tab is right here. As it's actually a new microphone I just got yesterday. HyperX Quadcast. I've had my eye on this mic for quite a while since 2020 and thought this would finally be the year to get it as well as a new webcam. As of making this video it's actually the first time I'm using them and so far it's pretty great. Although I'm using a laptop to record this so the mic may sound flat. Some people might now be asking could this be the potential to start commentary videos? And well it's kind of thrown up in the air to be honest something I feel like I could try and adapt to again. It's really been a long time since I've done any commentary, whether it was towards content itself or speedrunning. But I will say this though, uh, I might end up making a poll in the community tab just to see how people are feeling about it. But for now the main focus is really towards the, using them for the speedrun marathon. Now for shorts, I mentioned from last month that I was going to start doing them the first of this month and make it sort of like a trial through the first half. Now although for me it's still something I'm trying to get used to, so far I've been thinking I'm actually going to try and keep at it with the consistency, while at the same time I'm going to try and look for n more new ways of trying to be creative with them. Now shifting gears is onto the practice runs towards the marathon. I was originally thinking I was going to start right after part 1 of the channel update, but felt like I didn't really have the energy to do so, as well as with how the past two months have been from December and January, where it felt like it was frustrating when it came to a lot of the content and how, you know, they didn't turn out as great as I had hoped. But then I thought, heading into this month I should really keep my head held high and focus more on the positives like I always have. So this past Saturday I finally started doing practice for the games involved in the marathon as I felt like this could be a way to showcase my skills and whether it might be a specific category or possibly more than one category. When it came to riders, I was highly interested in running any percent which involves a glitch known as the lap respawn glitch. From what I've seen only a few runners out there have been able to pull something off like this and since this category is one of the few that's part of the selection that might be chosen for the game, I figured it might be worth a try. Now as I mentioned from the description of the run, it's not guaranteed that this category is going to be chosen, as if anything it might end up being let's say the X World Grand Prix, or maybe all tracks including the unlockables, or maybe even mission mode. What I want to try and do here is at least do a practice run for as many games, but I'm not sure if it may be every game or it could potentially be all of them. So far in terms of where things are at right now, uh, I'm still trying to get the Wii U console as well as a couple of Wii games such as Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic and the Secret Reigns, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and Winter Olympic Games. I'm thinking I'm going to try and do a practice run every Saturday, but at the same time, I'm going to be on the lookout for new mods and fan games. For now, practice is definitely a priority to me, especially towards games that I haven't ran in a long time, and especially games that I haven't ran before. Now like I said, this is going to be a short one, but before I end this video, I got at least one question I need some opinions on in regards to additions to the games list. This is actually something I was meaning to bring up from part 1 but somehow forgot. Do you think I should add the 2013 versions of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, as well as the 2011 version of Sonic CD? Let me know in the comments below what you think. With that in mind, hope everyone has a good day. Happy Valentine's Day. Peace out. Play this record as frequently as possible.